Living next to one of the hottest music venues can have its benefits, but for residents of the Sherwood neighborhood, they could use a little break from the noise. Our Ken McCoy spoke with Councilman Bill Kling on how the city is addressing the issue. According to one user on Reddit, quote, the Orion is the best thing that happened to Huntsville in the 18 years I lived here. We just want the neighborhood to be able to enjoy themselves within the guidelines of the ordinance. In a meeting earlier this week, Huntsville City Councilman Bill Kling looked at issues affecting District 4. This included Sherwood Park residents' concern over noise heard at the Orion Amphitheater. That neighborhood is actually about a mile away from the amphitheater, and they've been complaining about noise and also about late hours. According to the city ordinance, the concerts must end at 11 p.m. In addition to that, then there's certain noise level, decibel noise levels that have to be complied with. But the Orion isn't the only venue getting complaints. There's a big bar called the Furniture Factory located on Meridian Street. It uh, has live entertainment and uh, there have been complaints that I've been receiving from people in the downtown area. A resident in their neighborhood shared on next door, quote, we live in Old Town and Furniture Factory and Rocket Republic border our neighborhood. The music can be heard all the way over past Oakwood. Both areas are being worked by the city departments. And the city only has one request. Uh, all we're looking for is compliance. It's not changing anything. It's just this is the ordinance that's on the books. When asked what possible solutions have been discussed, reversing the hours could be a possibility. If there's a worst case scenario that happens and things keep going as they have been going in the past, you know, hypothetically, the council could look at reversing the uh, hours that we extended last year. But again, uh, I don't think we're going to get to that point. For Fox 54 News, I'm Ken McCoy.